2023 Ferrari Pirosang First Look Review, The Prancing Horse Caves to Peer Pressure. Porsche's decision to start building the Cayenne in 2002 didn't immediately ruffle the feathers of its traditional supercar rivals, but Lamborghini jumped on the SUV bandwagon with the Urus in 2018, and then Aston Martin began selling the DBX in 2020. Ferrari held out for as long as it could, but it simply had to have something to compete with these rivals, hence the arrival of the dramatic Purosang, the prancing horse's first SUV. This is also Ferrari's first four-door four-seater production model, but with so many firsts, it's comforting to find a naturally aspirated V12 powering the Purosang. It makes 715 horsepower and will power this SUV to 62 miles per hour in only 3.3 seconds. The V12 is paired with a trick all-wheel drive system and dual transmission combination. There's a lot to unpack here, including Ferrari's assertion that this isn't actually an SUV at all, so let's get started. When is the Ferrari Purosang coming out? Although it has been officially revealed, the Purosang won't be coming out immediately. The Ferrari Purosang's release date is set for later in 2023. 2023 Ferrari Purosang Price and Competition? The official price for the 2023 Ferrari Purosang hasn't yet been revealed, but estimates suggest that it will cost in the region of $400,000 MSRP. A price like that in the USA would make the Purosang more expensive than all its rivals. Even the Lamborghini Urus Performante will cost only $260,676, while the Aston Martin DBX 707 starts from $236,000. The most expensive Porsche Cayenne, the Turbo GT, starts at $188,700. What none of these SUVs have is a V12. Bentley will oblige with a W12 in its Bentayga speed, but that vehicle is much more luxurious and not as athletic as the smaller Purosang. New Ferrari Purosang Exterior and Colors In explaining the Ferrari Purosang's exterior and proportions, the Italian Mark said that it has a completely different layout and innovative proportions compared to modern GT archetypes, so-called crossovers and SUVs. Evidently, Ferrari does not want the Purosang to be considered a traditional SUV. In Ferrari's defense, the Purosang does look more like a beefier GTC4 Lusso than a tall SUV. To accommodate the large front mid-mounted V12, the 2023 Purosang has a long hood. The hood itself is a front-hinged clamshell, which allowed the design team to get more creative with the shapes in the vicinity of the A-pillar. Ferrari says the design has been separated into two levels, the imposing upper body and a more technical lower body. The team wanted the upper portion of the body to appear as though it is floating on the wheel arches. In front, blown arrow ducts rather than headlights dominate. The actual headlights are sighted lower next to the intakes. Instead of a front grille, a more technical aesthetic was achieved by using a dihedral suspended on the lower section. Like the hood, the rear doors are also hinged unconventionally, rear hinges have been used to make ingress and egress easier at the back, but it also gives the Purosang a profile quite unlike any other SUV when these suicide doors are open. These are power-operated, too. Staggered 22-23-inch wheels front and rear are equipped, with various wheel designs available. You can specify brake calipers in colors like blue, red, and yellow. Customers can choose between a standard roof, a panoramic glass roof, or one finished in carbon fiber. At the back, there is a horizontal cut line that integrates the taillights at either end. Below the taillights are two scoops that form dual vents. Sizable rear wings, an aggressive diffuser, a rear spoiler, and rounded quad exit tailpipes gel together well. Those tailpipes can be upgraded to sport exhaust pipes or black ceramic ones. Yes, like every other prancing horse, the new Ferrari Purosang SUV can be customized to your heart's content. There are many colors for the Ferrari Purosang for you to choose from. Solid options include Giallo Medina, Yellow, Bianco Avis, White, Nero, Black, and of course, the classic Rosso Corsa, Red, metallic shades include Blue Corsa and Nero Daytona, while the historical palette includes the stealthy Canada Fusile, Black, and Verde British. While we're not convinced that the Purosang isn't, at the very least, a high-performance crossover, Ferrari has certainly created a vehicle that is unique in this segment. 
At the end of the day, whatever it's classified as hardly matters, this is an arresting and interesting visual extension of the Ferrari brand, and that's a win in our book. Ferrari Purosang Dimensions The Ferrari Purosang's dimensions further support how unorthodox it is alongside most other SUVs. Previously, it was the Lamborghini Urus that was one of the lower high-performance SUVs, but the Purosang's height is lower still at just 62.6 inches. At 195.8 inches in length, the Purosang is a little longer than a Porsche Cayenne Turbo, but not as long as the Urus. The width of the Ferrari is 79.8 inches, and the wheelbase is 118.8 inches long. Ferrari claims that the Purosang's dry weight is 4,482 pounds, so the curb weight is likely to be closer to 4,800 pounds, or a little less than the Urus and DBX 707. That weight is distributed almost evenly at 49% in front and 51% at the back, which Ferrari says is optimal for a front mid-engine sports car. Further to this, the front mid positioning of the V12 has helped Ferrari deliver the driving dynamics that live up to its lofty expectations. Ferrari Purosang Engine and Performance A Sonorous V12 in an SUV is exceedingly rare. A naturally aspirated one is unheard of. The Ferrari Purosang's engine displaces 6.5 liters and does without forced induction and electrification. The 65-degree V12 with cylinder heads derived from the 812 Competizione pumps out an incredible 715 horsepower at 7,750 rpm, just 500 rpm short of the engine's maximum revs, and 528 lbft of torque at 6,250 rpm. Clearly, it's an engine that does its best stuff at high revs, and unsurprisingly, it sounds fantastic doing so. Still, Ferrari says that up to 80% of torque is delivered at only 2,100 rpm, so it's a flexible unit too. The Purosang utilizes an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission that is mounted at the rear of the SUV to direct most of the power to the rear wheels, essentially creating a transaxle layout. But to give it all-wheel drive capability, a second transmission on the front axle directs some power to the front of the car, too, something Ferrari refers to as the power transfer unit. This setup has been seen before in none other than the GTC4 Lusso, which the Purosang effectively replaces. The primary 8-speeder has new actuation hydraulics for faster clutch fill times and quicker shift times when compared with the older 7-speed DCT. The clutch performance is reportedly 35% higher than before. Performance specs are phenomenal for a 4-seater almost an SUV specimen. The Purosang goes from 0 to 62 miles per hour in only 3.3 seconds, while 0 to 124 takes 10.6. Ferrari promises a top speed of 193 miles per hour. That would exactly match the current fastest SUV in the world, the DBX 707, in terms of top speed. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.